So I'm Preeta Florina coming from Department of Botany, Terrison Degree College. So today's topic is about nuclear pollution. So pollution is something which is causing the devastating or a disturbing effect to the uh, nature, nature or natural products. So what is this nuclear pollution? So on the rise of urbanization and industrialization and population explosion, we need to supply a lot of things to the generation which is coming now as for the future. So nuclear energy which was being found out years ago is a clean energy which has been used for various purposes. But the problem which is there in this nuclear pollution is it is having some adverse effect on the nature. So first let us know the meaning then we will move on to the causes and then the effects of nuclear pollution and lastly how can we control this. So firstly what is the meaning of nuclear pollution? Basically nuclear pollution is something which is released by the nuclear waste after the radiation or after the effect of it. So basically the radioactive materials which we say are used to produce the nuclear energy. The leftover things is causing the pollution to the nature that is nothing but nuclear pollution. And nuclear pollution to be very very precise it is a very very harmful type of a radiation which cannot be stopped immediately or which cannot be given a treatment immediately when it is causing a damage to the human as well as to the other forms of life. Now what are the basic causes of this? See the basic causes of this is when a nuclear power plant is being established in any country or in any continent they also have the nuclear disposal region because these nuclear disposal regions should be very very safeguarded and it should be protected and it should be taken so many precautionary measures so that that nuclear reactant or the product out of that should not come out of it. But the main cause is when they are disposing the travel purpose from one place to another can cause a major cause on the land and when it is falling on the land or it is when it is ex big, uh, exposed to the air what happens is the effect becomes more in number. So the major cause is the nuclear power plant. The effects of this once the nuclear reaction is being started it's a continuous process. One solid example which can I give for the effect is the bomb blast which has been done in Hiroshima Nagasaki by the USA in the World War II. Till today we can see the effect of that particular nuclear bomb explosion that there is no proper agriculture going on in Hiroshima and Nagasaki region because the nuclear reaction or the waste or the products of nuclear waste is still being radiated in the land. This is one of the very good example to show how the effect prolongs for a very very long duration. Not only this, people who work closer to this region or people who are into this nuclear power plant when they are exposed to such kind of radiation the effect is also very very huge. One thing is when the nuclear reaction is aggravated or it is started as I told you it cannot be stopped immediately. So once a person gets immediate contact or when he goes to the closer contact of this what happens is that radiation has the effect on the tissues and it can enter deep inside the body organs and once it is entered into the organs it can cause skin itchingness and also it can cause radiation effect Im immediately when you expose to yourself to the sun you get itchiness and also the eye cataract is also been reported leukemia is reported that is nothing but blood cancer fertility problem is also reported all these are the effects this is the effects which is done for the humans when it comes to nature as I've told you in the nature once this damage is done it is very very hard to clear this kind of a problem. So how can you prevent this particular nuclear pollution? See advanced countries need advanced weapons so nuclear power plant nuclear weapons cannot be stopped. So how can precautionary measures be taken to prevent this kind of a pollution? Firstly they should have a proper disposal region that they should have huge concrete walls where the radiation doesn't come outside that concrete walls. The second thing, when they are transporting from one place to another place, especially the nuclear waste, they have to take precautionary measures so that the entire packaging is so well done so that the packaging does not have any kind of a exposure to the outer environment. The third 
thing is when the nuclear bombs have been tested it is tested on the air or on the surface or on the ground which is highly prohibited you usually or we usually have to give a uh, particular importance for the testing of the nuclear weapons underground that too in small dosages only when it is happening in this format you can try to reduce the nuclear pollution other than this precautionary measures can be given to the people who are working in and around this region by giving them proper complete packaging or a support system before entering the nuclear power plant so this is how you can prevent the nuclear pollution other than this uh, the meaning the cause and the effect says that how this nuclear reaction or how this nuclear pollution is advancing day by day and how it has been a big issue in the developed countries thank you please like share and subscribe if you like this video thank you